Hi everyone, it's Jessica Hartson here from Jessie Illustrates and today we're going to do some printing. So we're going to print a super panda, just like this, with a pattern around it. And to do that we need to make our printing block first of all, which we do by sticking some foam, some cardboard, and here's our little leaf, it's going to go around the edge. Now you could create any design that you like. So in, in the past I've created an Aztec print here, which again is using a foam. And we use lots of different colours but today we're going to stick with green and black paint that you're going to need and your foam and your cardboard let's get started Okay, so the next step, we're going to glue each of these foam pieces on. So just putting a little bit of Pruitt stick here or any other sticky glue you have. And stick it in the right place that you want it. I'm going to do that with all the different sections. So all the different sections are glued down now, nice and firm. And the next part will be to get our piece of paper that we're going to print onto and choose a colour of paint and we're going to paint on each of these sections very carefully. And the key is when you do this is to load your brush with paint and go right to the edge, scrape all the way across each section and then we're going to print. Are you ready? Let's get going. So you can see here I've covered um, all of the different bits in paint, not too thick. doesn't matter if it goes onto the cardboard because we're going to print onto uh, our paper. You have to work relatively quickly though because it will dry quite quickly as well. So let's give this a go. I'm going to turn our card over and we're going to push it down, drop it down. And we're going to press by just pushing down. We're not going to move our hands side to side. We're just going to push. And that's just to make sure it doesn't slide on your paper. And carefully lift it up. That's our first attempt. Now you can see I've not put quite enough paint on this ear here. So I'm going to do it again and see if we can make sure we've got um, more paint on. Um, but you can see it's really effective, isn't it? And obviously you can go over the top. So I'm going to add a white dot into the centres when I get, get enough paint on. So let's have another go. Okay, I'm going to go straight and print. Press it down, especially where the foam bits are. And put more paint on this time. So hopefully we shall see that it's uh, lovely and covered all over. Let's give it a go big reveal da, 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 da. yeah there we go that's better isn't it so when that's dry I'm gonna add some eyes in now I quite like the fact we haven't got a line for the outside of his face I quite like like keeping it quite simple but obviously you could add in a line if you wanted to I'm going to add a pattern around the edge I've cut out a leaf shape and I'm going to paint that with green paint now so exactly the same as before, all the way to the edge. Of the foam, plenty on, and like that. And I'm going to do a pattern all the way around here. So same again. We just um, plop it down. So I'm just dropping it and carefully lift it up. Go. Oh, I've smushed it very slightly there, haven't I? Probably put a little bit too much on. Okay, this time not put quite so much on. Let's do another one. So I'm going to do one here. Like that. Ah, oh, there we go. And we'll do another one. Okay. 
So I've finished my pattern all the way around the edge here. And now I'm going to add in the eyes. So I've got one of my handy Posca pens, but you could just use some paint. Uh, I'm going to draw a little circle here. For one eye and one there for the other eye. And then when these dry, I might actually add some patterns because I think that'll look quite cool, like this. Again, you could do this with your paintbrush or a pen, if you haven't got any of these special paint pens. That would look quite, quite good, wouldn't it? I might not do it on all of them, I think I'll just do it on a few. There we go. I think we're finished. How did you get on today? See you next time.